It's six o'clock in the evening and the sun is going down. Imagine you don't have electricity. You can't just switch on the lights. What are you going to do? Evelyn lights a kerosene lamp, a tin filled with fuel and a wick. Burns, cataracts and even cancer are just some of the health hazards caused by kerosene lamps and their fumes. Imagine if this was the only source of light you have for your family to work, cook and read by every night. This is the reality for over 1.3 billion people. That's one in five who don't have access to electricity. For families living on just a few dollars a day, kerosene lamps can consume up to 30% of their income, creating an ongoing poverty trap. I'm Jim. And I'm Martin. We're the designers of Gravity Light, a radical alternative to kerosene lighting. Gravity Light is a low-cost, safe and reliable alternative to the kerosene lamp. One that costs nothing to run, doesn't need batteries, and pays for itself within weeks of switching from kerosene. With Gravity Light, all you need is a weight. In 2013, support from people like you on Indiegogo enabled us to bring this idea to life. Gravity Light was trialled by over 1,300 off-grid households across 26 different countries. Their feedback was extremely encouraging. Over 90% of people who tried Gravity Light said they would use it instead of a kerosene lamp. We also gathered valuable feedback on what could be improved. We've spent the past year completely re-engineering, prototyping, testing, iterating and testing again to reach a new design that we're confident is a game changer. GLO2 is stronger, brighter, longer lasting and even easier to use. But this isn't only about a product. We want to create local jobs, skills and livelihoods too for those that make and sell gravity lights. We found a brilliant partner in Kenya to do this with. I didn't think that there was anything more uh, readily available than the sun until Jim pointed out to me that gravity doesn't go to sleep at night. So um, we're pretty excited about you know, manufacturing a product such as that. I think it's a good decision by Gravity Light to do local assembly to see how that goes and to actually get a sense of if it's possible to do full-scale manufacturing. We're just trying to create a work environment that builds a strong culture of making good products and, and then people are happy coming into work every day. My name is Mohamed Gilagedo. The money I, I get, I send my mom and my sis. Although I'm a last boy, I have to struggle to show them they can depend on me. I've depended on them so many years, so it's my time to, to it's my time for them to depend on me. Pledge now to get one of the first samples of our new and improved gravity light and enable us to set up assembly in Kenya. We can't wait to get started.